Fuck. <laughs> John got John stepped in the water. <laughs> What's up everybody? Hey. Hey, <laughs> how? <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is Matt with Sidearm Productions here with Jonathan Grant. Today we're gonna be checking out a local disc golf tournament at Sawmill Disc Golf Course. And if you've watched the channel, you know that that's kind of our home course. We wanna make kind of a video to document pretty much the biggest tournament that we've had at the property. It filled up with over 80 people and we're about to start editing it right now. We're gonna apologize for the quality of this video. It's, it rains all day. I'm there for 13 hours. It, it never stopped raining. We had to film everything on GoPros simply because they're waterproof. Right, we had a small break in the weather to fly the drone. It was literally like a three minute window. Uh, also the temperature never went higher. It, I think it just steadily dropped throughout the whole day. It was, it was miserable. Yeah, it was. it's pretty miserable and cold. But anyways, we still wanted to bring you the video, so we figured we'd introduce it. I'm going to start off at the beginning of my day when I start loading up and heading to the course. Oh my goodness. Ooh. I'm running late, later than I wanted to be. It's still pretty early. It's 6 in the morning. January 27th, 2019. Today's kind of a big day for Sawmill Disc Golf Course. We've never had a tournament this big. It's raining, it's Florida. Any day there's a tournament, I don't care if I'm playing in it or not, it rains. The curse of living in Florida. We capped the event at 80 players thinking, ah, it probably won't fill up. Last year, I think we had 50 something. It filled up pretty quickly and even put a few people on the wait list. We're definitely gonna have some challenges today. Number one is parking. That parking lot's not big enough to accommodate 80 players. It's like 40 degrees and raining. Maybe we'll get lucky and this will just be kind of an on and off thing. I don't know. There's a pump on site at Sawmill where if the water table gets a little bit too high, there's sensors that'll kick that pump on and it'll basically start flooding the drainage areas at the disc golf course. I'm just hoping it, that that doesn't kick on during the tournament or before. But yeah, it's 6.30 in the morning and I am pulling into Sawmill Disc Golf Course. Well, somebody's here, the gate's open. That's Terry. Terry and somebody. Yo, what's up? Good morning. I'll be right back. Lovely weather we're having. All right, I'm gonna get out and get wet and unload the Ranger and start doing my thing. Get back with you in a minute. Already pretty wet. Tyler's just now getting here. Terry's already out there blowing off tea pads. Great day in the morning, fellas. What's going on, man? Good going? to see you. Does it rain every tournament you host? No, it doesn't. It's just here lately, boy. That dang rainy season's getting me, that's for sure. Yeah, man. soaked we've got the pads blown off a bunch of people are already showing up everybody's got their umbrellas and hopefully at some point we'll get a little break in the weather there is definitely some water out on the course so lake sawmill is in effect my guess is this pump probably kicked on last night and started filling things up before maybe even before it started raining i don't know let's go see what's happening at tournament central See you 
at Sawmill. I want to thank everybody for coming out this morning. This beautiful, beautiful liquid sunshine filled day. My name is Tyler Sorrell from Fort Wallen Beach, Florida. <laughs> Y'all have the same forecast I did all week and you're still here. So cheers to you. Everybody give yourself a big round of applause. I'll tell you what, Matt and Judy was out here. I don't know how early you were here. 6.30. There you go. And it was very dark and he's driving around blowing off tee pads. So they should be absolutely dry. Yeah. And free <laughs> and easy to breathe. We're going to go ahead and play disc golf today, right? Yeah. A couple of quick things we want to talk about. Right now, all the, the board's good. We're set. We also have maps and rules. There's a rule sheet on here. Uh, Matt, you want to go over real quick anything you think that's important on the rules? We're probably going to have a good bit of water out on the course. All the water is casual. You're not out of bounds. You can throw from where your disc ends up or take your casual relief backwards from your previous throw. It is right now, it is, let's say, 8.38. We're gonna play disc golf at 9 a.m. Boards are gonna come out in two minutes. He's just gonna make sure everything looks good. Um, and then we're gonna play golf. So we love you guys, appreciate y'all. Have fun, be safe, and we'll see you in a few hours. As you can see, it's raining. Everybody's heading out to their holes to start their round now. Definitely not gonna get all the footage that we want today. Try to make the best of it and just kind of keep our fingers crossed that maybe the weather lets up. John's here. The weather's not letting up. <laughs> you take this path right here. This is 17. So just walk back to that tee pad right the other side of the fence. Right this is 17. Just walk down the fairway. Go right. You, at, so at, we, the basket, at the basket, go right. go right. There's a little trail. You're going to want to walk left of the pond area here. Go all the way through the woods. This is 16. So you can basically follow the holes backwards. I didn't plan on having to give all these directions. <laughs> I'm honestly not even upset that I'm not playing today. I'm, I'm actually quite <laughs> thrilled. <laughs> I'm actually quite happy that I'm not playing in this tournament at the moment. I guess there's a lot of people playing this course blind. Yeah, blind, in the rain, with water in the drainage area. Good luck. Good luck, bro. We're gonna try and stay dry. Might walk around a little bit and try and get some footage. By, by walk, he means driving the Ranger. I don't know if I'm gonna drive that around while everybody's playing. You're not gonna mess my round up. <laughs> Probably go talk to Tyler here in a minute. Hey, what's up guys? Tyler still here for Dynamic Discs, Chasing the Chains, Latitude 64, Dynamic Discs, and West Side Discs. We're here for the It's Saw Mill. Really stoked to be out here today. It's um, obviously not the most beautiful of days as you guys have seen, but uh, it's been a great day. I love coming to Ocala. I love seeing the Central Florida family all come together. We've got players from Jacksonville, Gainesville, Ocala, Orlando, Tampa, Daytona, New Smyrna Beach. So all over the state of Florida in Ocala today to enjoy this beautiful course. We had 74, I think, start the day, which is awesome. You know, thanks to these guys for doing this. We're here and uh, it's been a great day. Thanks for y'all coming out. Peace. trying to keep warm first round everybody's playing their last couple of holes and we're about to go out and move the baskets into the B positions so yeah let's go do this let's move the baskets and uh, get soaked and come back and change clothes after that
$103 in funny money in our recreational division. He's moving on up. Derek Durant, come on down, Derek. Good job, man. You can't win rec twice, especially if you win $100 in rec. You got to move up. That's what he told me. I heard it. There we go. All right, here we go. Miss Danielle Crevison, come on down, our second place finisher. Good job, D. She was out here at 6.30 a.m. to help me unpack the RV. Amazing job today. Way to go. It's awesome, Danielle. Appreciate that. And our first place finisher, Erin, already picked up her trophy. Miss Erin Fitzpatrick. Good job, Erin. We love you. Woo -hoo -hoo. Good job. Good shooting, Erin. All right, moving on over to our intermediate division. Our seventh place finisher, $31 of funny money, Mr. Jesus Guerrero. Come on down, Jesus Guerrero. Ooh, I, I was excited. <laughs> we did get excited. Sixth place finish, 142 on the day, $41 in funny money. Mike Evans, come on down. Mike, grab your money. Mr. Jesse Freeman, $56 in both. Matt Kohler, $56 in the fifth place finish. And an eighth spot win, come on down. Congratulations, bud. Mr. Timothy Hunt, fourth place finish, $67. Come on down, Timothy. This guy got in, and I said, you're in. He said, yes, and he got a third place finish in $77. Frank Lenard has come on down, Frank. Yeah, Frank. Yeah. Good job, bud. Second place finish, $87 in funny money, Mr. Matt Knight. All right, next up, our champion in our intermediate division. First place finish, awesome trophy, $97 in funny money, Mr. Jacob Hunt. Yeah. Come on down. Our champ was Mr. John Yonke in our MA50. Good job, John. Yeah. Love you, bud. And Mr. Craig Wisnowski, big surprise, he took it down in our MA40 division. And next up, Mr. Terry Morgan, our fifth place finish. Come on down in our advanced division, Terry, come get that money. Love this guy, man, he's always out there rocking it, feeling the flow. Fourth place finish, $43. Mr. Kenny Catrino, come on down, Kenny. Yeah, Kenny. Third place finish. $58 of funny money, Mr. Nick Olsen. Nick Olsen. Good job, Bubba. Second place finish, tearing it up, 140 on the day, $77 of funny money, Mr. I feel good, James Brown. <laughs> good job, James. And our champ in our advanced division, tearing him up, 139 on the day, an awesome trophy, $110 in funny money. Emilia, you are. Good job, Bubba. He said you want to thank Tyler for being awesome, coming out here and staying around in the cold weather from all day today. Just having a great time. Much more on with that. Our MPO division, these guys are good. They play for cold hard cash. We had a little bit of added money for these fellas today. So in a second place finish, $116 in cash. Mr. Jimmy Iceberg Bergman, come on down, Jimmy. And our champ today, getting big bucks. I remember when this guy used to come around playing advanced. And then he's like, you want some money? And he's like, I guess I got to play open now. And I said, yeah, you do. Mr. Andrew Reynolds, $194 in our first place trophy. Good job, man. Congratulations, dude. Awesome. Good shooting. That will conclude our award ceremony for today. Yay. It is dark. You guys are champs in my book. I don't care if you finish first, last, or second. You guys, I love you. Appreciate you all. We'll see you real soon. Keep an eye out. I got a whole bunch of announcements about tour stops coming up, hopefully this week. We'll see you in Gainesville, Jacksonville, all over Central Florida, South Florida, Gulf Coast, wherever you're all at. If I'm there, come see me. Let's go. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Thanks for coming out. Be the best. All right, guys. So as you can see, we didn't really cover the tournament. We documented the day. Hopefully we got some entertaining enough shots for this edit that you guys enjoyed the video. You better like it, we stayed wet all day. We probably repeated ourselves in this video 50 times how wet and miserable it was. And it really did affect our ability to go out and get the footage that we wanted to get. I think we still got a few good shots and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Cross our fingers that the next tournament that we decide to go and make a video of it has better weather. You got anything else to say, John? No, that's about it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching Sidearm Productions. Check us out next time.